everyone, uh, Raider Dash in one boy. Uh, hope everyone had a great Sunday. Um, as usual, it's early in the morning when I get around to doing this. Um, it's 1.45 a.m. Sunday morning. Anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, everyone had a uh, great Sunday, as I said, and hopefully you all had a great weekend, too. Anyhow, yeah, what's the cold out uh, yesterday? Uh, wasn't so bad, I suppose. I, I went out, we've been wearing everything that, that I could. Winter jacket, winter coat roller, and a jumper, and several layers. Didn't take long to get warm. <laughs> uh, weren't so cold, it's cold yesterday, really. Now I'm down to bloody shirt sleeves. Anyway, uh, and it's uh, 39 degrees, Gordon, to the van. I'm sure it's lying, but anyway. Um, fixed the van yesterday, uh, done the, uh, well, hopefully I fixed it, I've kind of scraping up a bit. Anyhow, it uh, seems to have been behaving itself throughout the night, so uh, that's that's been good, but time will tell if that's, that's going to be uh, a long-term fix or not. rather warm in here which is uh, not as warm as I want it to be so let's get that up anyway uh, do another test on it so yeah uh, I got out late went out to uh, Chelly's Cafe the uh, Mexican restaurant out there on uh, 85th and Warnall uh, had the uh, dinner out there, got out there late, blimey the place was uh, quite bus busier than when we normally go in there. But our uh, friendly uh, waiter was in there today, apparently uh, he's been serving us for quite, quite a while in there actually. Great big bloke, I think his name's Caesar. Real nice bloke though. He um, says he only works here on a Sunday now. Oh, blimey, we'll have to go and go on a Sunday. I said, well, how come you only work on a Sunday now? He says, well, he's finally got his certificate to go do tattoo, to do it, tattooing. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, um, not my sort of thing at all. Um, I really uh, don't like the idea of getting a needle, needle vipping jabbed into me for a flu shot or any bloody thing. But, um... Let alone if you've been uh, go pay someone who uh, put a put a receipt on me to uh, show that I was daft enough to uh, go pay for all that to be done. It ain't my thing. Um, but anyway, anyway, good luck to him for that. I mean, he been he must have worked hard to uh, get that. Cause, but I never really thought of it before. But what, it's crikey, if you can't really do it, do that wrong, can you? I mean, what if you do? What if you cock it up? I mean, someone lives lives through your uh, mess up for life. Oh my god! I don't know if they can uh, get rid of tattoos or what. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so anyway, hopefully he does well at that. But we'll continue to go in there on a Sunday to see him anyway. Um. So uh, yeah. Uh, Finally got to work after that, got back into, I uh, actually started it when we started everything with, as we were, as we left Chelly's. Um, got a few dash along the ways, but, or they came in, I didn't do them, but, um, because they were in that area and they weren't paying well at all. So, uh, yeah, I can't quite remember what time it started, but maybe about, 6.15, something like that. Whoops. So, uh, didn't get the the early start that I really wanted, unfortunately, but anyway. Um, had problems trying to up upload a video from last night's video. Oh, good grief. So, I don't know what the heck, what it is. I delete so much stuff out of the phone. 
and then when I go to check the storage on the phone, I've got more more flipping um, um, you, I've used more space after I've delete, deleted everything. Like, oh my gosh, how does this thing work? And then, uh, then I restart it and it's still the bloody same. Anyhow, I don't know, but I found something on there, like we've just done an update on the Apple software, what I did, and um, it's showing you could do duplicates as well on, on all the pictures, so I went through through those and deleted those, um, and then I did, um, uh, what else did I do, I went through uh, text messages, good grief, I've got so many text messages, but if you go in 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 your um in your text message thing, it's got filters or whatever, and it shows uh, ones that have come from um, people that you've uh, you don't know. You know, it'll be like um, when you've rung your bank and they give you a code to use or PayPal or I don't know whoever you use or or maybe your uh, internet provider or something, I don't know, whatever you've uh, tried to get and they sent you this code or whatever, is a whole load of those. And of course, we all get the ones where it, where they're uh, trying to buy your house. Is your house for Fippy and Sal? No, bog off. Anyway, so I've got loads and loads of those. So just delete the whole lot. Like, I think it was like about 300 of them or something. Deleted the whole sodding lot of those. And uh, yeah, but um, still we've been had a lot of lot of use space in it. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to get a phone that's uh, just dedicated to doing um, DoorDash stuff. So if anyone's got an iPhone 11 and upwards that they're uh, looking to go and up put in for an upgrade, then don't give it to them. If you've been, uh, uh, let me know. See if I can uh, get that out of your hand somehow. Um, an iPhone Pro Max, either of 11. I don't know if they did it on the 11. I'm sure they must have done it, mate. Um, or whatever they called it. Anyway, the bigger one will be will be great, but you know, I to uh, get what I can for now. So uh, yeah, let me know. So, uh, oh, what happened today? No little doggies or anything out today. They were all sensible and stayed in. That was that one. One great big one. A uh, delivery to go to uh, Independence. Uh, not normally uh, where I would uh, go to deliver because it's out of our, our delivery area, but they were paying all right. Um, I think it was Jason's dad. I can't remember what that was, actually. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, got there and uh she's a great wee dog she said um she'd written in the notes that they're not the corner house okay fine anyhow the gps took a right took us right to the house so nothing about any corner house but anyway got up there she'd been, there was leaves everywhere so that was fun to trundle through but I uh, got to the top of the steps and then the, the door was slightly open and the great wee dog was there. He was wanting to stick his head out to say hello. I would have been fine with that. He didn't seem like he wanted to uh, have me for dinner, so that was all right. Actually, that was Jack Stack. That's it, I remember now, Jack Stack. No wonder he had his head out the door. He thought he thought it was for him. Anyhow, um, Jack Stack stuck and changed yet again. They got all... They're always changing how they do things at Jack Stack. They had this great big white tent out there before and it seemed to work pretty bloody well. Just drive up there, they had the food. If they didn't have the food, they'd go in and get it or radio in for something to come out with it. But uh, now they've changed it all. But, um, and I guess they must know when you uh, pull up because I pulled up to say that I was there and um, said I was there. And then they, it's been that you just walk in there now. Um, but today I get there and they've got these outside flipping things there, but they've got all these great big, uh, I suppose it's all, all uh, perspex or whatever, 
plexiglass there now. Anyhow, they've got all that covering this where all these uh, um, uh, registers and all the food is set behind normally. So they've got all that up there now. That's all vipping new. And um, so, like, as I went to walk up to it and walk sort of past it, not knowing what the heck it was all about. No one seemed to be acknowledging me, so anyway, I walked into the other, where I normally go to, or been going to recently, into the uh, one that's actually in the building, and one of the girls that was out in that plexiglass place uh, came through and said, who are you here for? Whoever it was. And then it'd be the bag. And I said, sir, am I supposed to go to that all the time now? Yep. Um, went to Firebirds at one stage. Oh my good grief. Firebirds. Wow. Firebirds don't seem to do too well on a game day, do they? Christ. Went over there, there was hardly any vehicles out there. Not too many people went there. There was people around the bar and that. There was always someone around the bar. But there seemed to be a bit more than there were several of them around it. And then there was a few people that sat down having something to eat and that, but no one was at the bar when I went in, no one was there to help, but in a way, I guess it was the bar person came round the corner whilst I waited. I worked there long. And um, she come round and said, oh, is anyone helping you? Yeah, that's all my fault. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she went round the corner, came back with, with the food. Ah... Uh, what else? Went to, uh, it, it was, we had all the offers coming in, but they weren't coming in as fast tonight. Uh, weren't coming in a whole lot. I did one at, um, I said I did one at Jason's Deli. Oh uh, yeah, I was up at, uh, I'd just gone a quick trip on 291. And uh, this order, offer comes in, and it's uh, I'm waiting on my wife. And uh, this offer comes in, and I waited till the very last seconds. It was it came in from uh, Jason's Deli, and it was the same one that as I was coming up to 91, I'd missed the uh, taking the order because I was too busy uh, looking at, at the road, etc. And uh, needed to get to a uh, quick trip. So I was concentrated on that, but anyway, I missed it the first time around. So I was happy that it came round again because it weren't too bad of an order. I think it was like twelve or thirteen dollars or something, something around about that. And um, yeah, so like I said, it came round again, and and uh, so I waited to the very last seconds for it to uh, to uh, take it. Like I said, I was waiting on my wife. And then she decided that she wanted to go. She was while she was in there, she wanted to uh, go get herself a drink. And I guess they weren't two geezers in there that were serving, weren't doing it very well, and weren't um, uh, helping anyone in there. weren't um, totaling up their bill or whatever. So then we've been uh, DoorDash sends me a note message saying are you sure that you want to do it or something said, well yeah i still want to bloody do it and then i had to go in and get my wife out like come on <laughs> jeez like every time you do this and go in there the bloody thing gives us a decent order anyway um so then i get i raced off down to uh, jason's deli after she got in the van and um Oh, it's going up, isn't it? Anyhow, um... So, yeah, so, uh, I get down to Jason's Deli. It took... Didn't take very long to get there. Maybe three minutes, four minutes. Um, got in there. And they had a problem with their system. Brilliant. Okay. The orders haven't come through. So he's had to get, and there was two other people waiting in there too. 
I don't know whether they were DoorDash or whoever, but anyhow, so he said uh, he took my, the name of the person that I was there for, and he said that one hadn't come through either, so, but they were going to make it then, so I went, all right, and I just went and sat down at the seat there, and then the two women went that were in there waiting, I think, and, uh, I went up to the counter and I said, how long do you think? You think it'll be another five minutes or so? And he said, yeah, it should be that. So I said, oh, I'll go to the loo while you uh, figure yourself out on that. So I did that. So I did that. I came out, I was still flipping trying to bag it all up. There weren't a lot of it, don't you? Anyway, I did that anyway. Um, several came in for uh, Papa John's. I can't trust going to Papa John's on 291. There's been so many times that I've gone there and it's just... I don't think they could organise a piss up in a brewery, to be fair. They may have had a better team there tonight, I don't know, but but um, I couldn't. I just didn't want to have been even bothered to go down there. Especially as it's right in the middle of the game when when several orders would come, offers were coming through. Some of them were pretty good, some of them were absolutely diabolical. Um, and they were stacking the orders too. And uh, anyway, I went, no, I just kept it, kept, no, nope, don't want to know, don't want to know. And anyway, I did take one later on because, well, it's later on in the evening, you know, the dinner rush is over. There isn't so many hipping uh, um, Papa John orders coming in, so I went, all right, I'll take this one. And uh, <laughs> lo and behold, it wasn't ready when I got in there. Jeez, it was just coming out the other, it weren't that long, but just, uh, anyhow, um, but that happens up at Pizza Hut too, but I can rely on them a heck of a lot better than I can up with John's. Cost my ass. Throat seemed a bit weird today, so I've decided to get that on the way on. I was going to get a hot chocolate, came out with that instead. Um, did one from 54th Street. I think that was $11. And uh, as I was walking into that one, again, that was later on in the night. And uh, as I was walk getting ready to go in there, Another offer comes in for Hawaiian Brothers going in the same direction. Well, sort of. Um, it was along the route. Anyway, uh, for Hawaiian Brothers, which is right next door to uh, uh, 54th Street, I reluctantly took it because I wasn't sure if 54th Street were uh, going to uh, make me wait or whatever. But lo and behold, it was uh, somewhat ready when I got there. I uh, caught one of the uh, uh, waiters walking past and asked him to go check on it. He went in there, into the kitchen, waited a few minutes, and he came out with it. So, oof, gone. So I left that one and then um, went over to uh, Hawaiian Brothers, saw that there was no one out in the cubicles outside and just went straight through their drive through Just went in there, but I got it. Told them who I was there for, and they gave me the thing through the window. Done. Right, good. Let's get on. I went and delivered those. But uh, it wasn't a whole lot of um, great orders coming in. There was lots of uh, three, four, two fifty orders coming in. Those ones, I mean, there wasn't an abundance of offers coming through tonight. Must have been a lot of people, one. 
I know uh, Jeremy, the uh, dasher that I spoke about before that we've met, um, he uh, he was up uh, North Kansas City somewhere. So <laughs> he said it was pretty busy up there. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I don't know my way up there. I mean, uh, around up there. But then again, I didn't know my way around Lee Summit before, but I do now. Anyhow, so later on in the evening, we start getting a little bit Taco Bell, Taco Bell orders. Do I want to do that? Went to the one on 291. No one in the in the in the drive through. Well, that's good. So uh, did one from there, and then as I drove out, picked up from there rather. Um, as I was driving out out of the lane to uh, head off, it was a door dash order I was going to deliver. Another one comes in via Uber Eats. So um, I took that one and said, you know what, I'll go deliver the other one because it's not far and it'll give them time to uh, make this Uber Eats one. So I did that. Whizzed off, delivered the first one. Uh, came back for uh, the Uber Eats one. Picked that one up because that was going, I think, two miles up the road, if that. I think so. Yeah, around about that. And uh, they were paying $15. Well, some people like their Jack a little bit much. I mean, I don't mind some of it. I wouldn't eat it every day, but anyway. And then, uh, and then there was like several vipping Taco Bells just kept hitting the phone all of a sudden. I mean, I couldn't do it because I was getting ready to go back to uh, do pick up the Uber Eats order. And then uh, Taco Bell's uh, uh, DoorDash is sending me more for Taco Bell. Like, well, I can't flipping keep doing, can't be doing them all. So when I went back for the Uber Eats order, um, she says, well, you have a nice night. Enjoy the rest of your night. I said, well, I might well be back at this rate. I said, I'll get so many, getting so many ripping uh, Taco Bell orders come hitting my phone now. I said, I might be well be back. Anyhow, I, uh, so as I was leaving the, uh, as I was going up to uh, drop off the Uber Eats one from Taco Bell, an order comes in from, um, for Taco Bell again. Like, oh my good grief. Okay, so quickly looked at where it was going. I went, yeah, that'll do tonight, dish. Clicked it. I think it was like 6.25 or something. And uh, I just took it. I went, okay, that's where it's going to. But I thought I was going back to the same one, but I ended up going to the one on uh, Chipman Road. Darn it. And that was the one where I had all the bloody great long wait last night. Uh, not last night. Saturday night. <laughs> Getting mixed up what nights and which. And... Um, Got around, no one was in the drive through on that one. Got around there, said, said who I was there to the speaker box. And uh, she said, yeah, come forward. She says, I've got it here. Oh, great. I get there, it was the same woman as yesterday. And she went, here you go, I've got it ready for you. Bloody hell, that's all they ordered. So, delivered that one. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, good grief. That one went to a really nice house, quite nice, really nice area. Um, and what's an absolute ass of a flipping drop off. And uh, these bloody idiots, they got flipping a car and they park right across the, uh, where you're supposed to uh, walk down their path. And I can see that from where where I parked out in the road. Like, really, why in the hell did you park there, you buffoon? No one can flip you walk through there now. So anyway, I just walked across their grass, and then they got this little vipping garden area, and I went, oh, I give a crap. So I just walked over that, and uh, put put it on their bloody doorstep, took a picture, and they got this nice great walkway with hay bales in there. It's all done up for the fall and that. 
but um, it's, uh, I don't. And the other thing is, what is it when you go to these nice bigger houses? The bigger the house, the more awkward it is to find to confirm the bloody number where you're delivering to. They don't put their number on the on the letterbox. If it is on there, it's worn through. Um, where it was on the house, I do not know. Um, I know it wasn't the house next door to it because I've been confirmed that. And um, but I wish they would actually make a flipping effort to uh, put the numbers on the house a bit more uh, visible. Not stupid little flipping plaques like some have done. I mean, a sudden great ginormous house. And they got a flipping dopey little flipping sign on it. Um, and then they just make it so bloody awkward for you to uh, get up to the uh, up to the residence to uh, del deliver the food. Uh, I f I had enough of that flipping stupid game. So anyway, I just went with flipping, did it how I wanted, dropped it, took the picture, went. Just uh, ridiculous. I get so fed up with those ones. It seems like the bigger the house, the flipping, the dopier the person is that flipping owns it. How the hell they got all their money? I really don't know. But some of them are not all there. That's for sure. Maybe they won it for suing someone. I don't know. But anyhow, um, did an order while I was down in Greenwood, the uh, Greenwood area. Dropped off down there at some stage. And uh, an order came in for a Taco Bell down there. I think it was down there. Yeah, from down there. Uh, an offer came in, excuse me. And it was 250 to go 17 miles. Uh, no. <laughs> and then uh, an offer came in for um, Casey's, which is just down, down the road on Greenwood on 150. Yep, 50 there. Uh, yeah, 150. And it came in and I went, oh, that'd be it. <laughs> it's not that one. It's not that one to pick up from. It's the one in Lee's Summit where we pass all the time in the corner of Langford Road. But um, it was, uh, I think it was like six or seven dollars, but it was going to Blue Springs. I know that it, it, the mileage included me getting there, but I didn't want to bloody well go all the way there and then drop it in Blue Springs. And uh, the uh, mileage at the time they gave, I think, was like about 16 miles or something. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But, um, but all in all, it was uh, fairly good. I had one bloke that had uh, written on the... I don't know, he actually sent a message. Um, on the way there, that was Uber Eats one on uh, a Taco Bell. Said, um, uh, when you get here, just drop it on the bottom step. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> That'll be handy. So I get to this house thinking, because I could have done that, done with that on the first one I just dropped, because there was a lot of steps up that one. And they want, they said on that one, they said, um, uh, don't ring the doorbell, don't knock the door, uh, leave uh, the food on the porch. My, I, I read it as that the, when it said don't ring the bell, don't knock the door, I read it as my do dogs are bonkers. <laughs> I went, oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice thing to say about it. It said my dogs are barkers. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> okay, read that a bit quick. Well, it might well have been right. Maybe they go bonkers. Anyway, but they made it a bit bloody difficult on that one. You've got to sneak up the 15 steps without waking the dogs up and then um, put the food on on the uh, on a chair right by the front door, take a picture of it, which it wasn't very bright light in there, so I had to been switched the light on to take a bloody picture. So... I don't know, their dogs must have been well flipping comatose or something because I didn't hear a thing. And um, 
by the time I'd crashed around or whatever up there trying to uh, get it all set up. But anyway, they must have been well out of it, those dogs. So, uh, yeah, so... And then went, like I said, I went on to the next one, which was an Uber Eats. And the geezer had written on, the uh, sent a message saying, just put it on the bottom step. And I went, oh, great. I could do that, thinking I'm going to, like, a, uh, you know, house with lots of steps. And we get up there, there's all these vehicles and that in the driveway. Um, so, bumps it up the curb a little bit. Goes and, uh, goes to deliver it. I mean, there wasn't that many steps at all. And it was a concrete fipping uh, porch that came up to maybe about here on me. And I just put the food on the top of there because it was heck of a lot easier than bending down to put it on the step. And I don't know why the bloke said put it on the bottom of the step because by the time I walked back to the van, he came out and said thanks for leaving it. And I went, no problem. But anyhow, he was happy, I suppose. Turn that off, don't need that. Getting warm in here. But yeah, it was. Uh, what else did I have? I don't know it was something else I had, but. I had a McDonald's, I know that. Did a McDonald's down in the Greenwood area. Oh, yeah, that was good. I get there, pulls up on the, on the uh, order box, and um, tells them who I'm there for what the number I was already what the three digit code is was they got an order number but they only want the last three of it so anyway they said I'll just come to the window so I went to the window and I didn't hear what this girl had said I, I thought she asked for the name that I was there for but she'd asked she was so softly spoken that she actually asked for the numbers I went oh yeah I told her what that was knew that off by heart already but um and he yeah, she uh, handed me the food. And I pulled out the driveway, hit it out of their drive through lane, hit the fipping confirm, went to pull out, out into the major road, out round the back there to uh, get on the way. And all the lights went bloody black. I mean, my guess we must have been the last one. About fipping, get kicked out. Yeah. So that was, uh, yeah, that was that. But anyway, uh, have um, beat uh, Christmas lights are on downtown in Lee Summit. Oh, such a lovely time of the year. Do like, do love seeing all the Christmas lights. Um, I'm surprised that they're all on already down down there. But anyway, uh, and they've actually got the animated ones outside City Hall. But I don't think that they've got the music on there. I don't think it's all set up properly yet. It's just all working somehow or other. But anyway, maybe they're uh, getting ready for um, whenever they put the lights on properly. The mayor comes out or someone. Anyhow, um, but those are all flicking around. They're, they're still enjoyable to look at. I didn't get pictures of those today. But I got pictures of uh, Paddington watching them downtown. And I got pictures around uh, downtown Lee Summit tonight of the uh, lights down there. So I'll add all those because I quite like seeing all that. And tomorrow the van to get a bath and I'll get some pictures of it downtown. In the few bin. Because it needs a bath. It hasn't been bathed for several days now. And it looks alright. That's a right old mess. What was that? I must have hit that button. Mm. My uh, central locking seems to make a weird noise. One of the uh, things is having problems, I suppose. Um, but yeah, not a uh, whole lot else to go on about. Uh, um. Thanksgiving, some of the shops in uh, Lee Summit. I don't know if anyone uh, watches is looking from Lee Summit on the videos, but um, Perkins is open through the day if anyone's looking to uh, get a dinner. Um, 
they're going to be serving, I think, from 6 a.m. till possibly 8. Not sure. I got the. I actually took a picture of of all the times when they're open for uh, Christmas Eve and New Year and all that business. So I'll put all that up here somewhere. And uh, as uh, Uber Eats would say it, Fazolis or Fazolis. I don't think they're open on um, on the Thanksgiving. But again, I just took a picture of their hours, so I'll put that up here somewhere too took that yesterday, both of those yesterday, not yesterday, Saturday, um, but yeah, but uh, for those of you who are going to go spend time with family, I hope it's all real nice for you, um, we're just going to go, I think we're just going to be going to Perkins, but we spend a lot of time down there, in, we're there about once a week or so, um, all right, well, I think that's it, really. I uh, don't think I've got anything else to uh, moan about, gripe about, or laugh about. Um, still making fun of my wife if you've been um, being bothered about trapped in here with that ferocious little flipping ball of fluff the other day. <laughs> that little dog that I, I rescued. <laughs> I suppose I did rescue him in a way, but anyway... Um, he was just a little ball of fluff. Nice little dog, though. I really liked that dog. I can't, I can't understand how people have been, uh, just let him roam. The bloke was, uh, obviously have been, uh, confused at how, how I, I had his dog in my hand. Is this yours? Uh, I understand this is yours. <laughs> this is your dog. And, um... And then asked me a stupid question of how his dog got out. Well, how the bloody hell do I know? All I know is that it was in the middle of the road, mate, and I nearly, uh, um, nearly unfortunately, he been uh, ran him over. Because he ain't the easiest to see. And he's only little. <laughs> Very little. But he didn't have a dog tag on. And um, he needed a bath, but that wasn't, there's nothing nothing to do with it basically you need to put a dog to, a, a tag on your animals I don't know if the dog had a chip at all um, if the geezer didn't put a dog tag on it then I think he maybe didn't even bother to put a chip in it but anyway I was happy that I found it found his home and he was able to go home and hopefully he's been snoozing away in front of the fireplace or whatever now and had a bath by now even half a little stinker. Only a little flipping ball of fluff. I'm sure once you've been shaved off all of his fur, he probably would have been that size. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway. All right, anyway, enough from me, I think. Um, I'll be back out of it again tomorrow. I've uh, got some repairs on the van to do. Hopefully, uh, get some, uh, get that into the garage. Uh, get that booked up for tomorrow or today rather see when they can do it with the holiday coming up but hopefully if you've been soon hopefully before it but anyway all right anyway thanks for watching uh, as usual hit the uh, like button if you enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed the video and me babbling on whichever oh by the way Chiefs one apparently you know how much I feel about that really don't well, the only thing I care about is that people have you been ordering. But, um, to be honest, <laughs> my wife is real keen on it. My wife, Vipin, loves the Chiefs. She's grown up Vipin, with the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, listening, listening to them on the radio, seeing them on the telly, and seeing them in person at the stadium too. But So she spent a lot of years with it. She loves Vipin, like listening to them and watching them etc me okay um because i don't understand the game and it's just not my thing but um but she had to listen to the commentary on the radio tonight oh jeez uh, and um i mean it was a bit lax at the time anyway so that was fine i suppose even though i don't really care for it but but um, 
But it's quite funny listening to the, to how they talk about the uh, the uh, so-called football here. Yeah? I don't call it football because I uh, don't think of it as football because we hardly kick the bloody, hardly uh, take time to kick the bloody ball. And it don't look like a ball. It looks like someone just sat on someone's balls. Looks like a rugby ball. Someone squished it. And, um... Um... I mean, if you did that to some geezer's balls, he'd be thinking and a lot of tears in his eyes if it all looked like that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, it, all of this, they do get excited. The commentators don't half get excited. Jeez, crazy. But I, uh, I don't know if that bloke was ripping a couple of times she was listening to it and the bloke that was shouting because the Chiefs had got a touchdown or something. Um, I didn't know if he was going to have an heart attack or if he'd been pooping himself. It was, uh, jeez. <laughs> blimey, does he go? He, he did get into a bit excited. Oh, blimey. And, um, then, um, and then they're coming out with all these different descriptions about it. Bearing in mind, I have no sudden clue. But, um, it just sounded like a flipping old, old person's flipping um, game. The rat, like I had pictures of flipping people running around with flipping walking frames. Flipping playing this, um, they've um, what's he done? He's he's about to throw up or something. Like what? And um, he's uh, what's he got his feet tangled? And he's fumbled the ball, fumbled it, bloody hell, what they got fipping working for him there, fipping dropping balls everywhere, getting tied up and tied up in their bootlaces or something, I don't know what they're doing. They're fipping fumbling around with the ball, so what they done? They dropped it on the floor, fipping it, what oh the hell they got work for them? And then they're getting sacked, no wonder, because they keep fipping dropping the bloody ball everywhere. Sound like a bunch of old fipping, uh, I don't know. Like they're all in an old people's home or something, got all them out there if it been trying to flip in have a game of it. <laughs> he got some weird descriptions on there. I had some flipping weird flipping um um visions of that. <laughs> Jesus. And by the way, getting sacked in England means that you're getting fired, so that's why I was I was laughing about the sacking bit. Even though I have no bloody clue what it means. Anyhow, <laughs> And it's not my game at all. But anyway, I'm glad they won. So, home team, I suppose. So, but um, anyway, yeah. So, on that note, hit the like, like button, please, if you liked it, of course. And uh, maybe you like my rendition of uh, whatever I said about the Chiefs. Um, I guess it goes for all the bloody uh, football, NFL things. Um. And uh, what we were, so hit the uh, subscribe button. It's all free to subscribe. To, um, if you would, that would all help the channel. And don't forget, hit the bell icon. If you want to be warned of when um, my crazy face is going to come on here and just go start the abiting, then uh, hit that bell icon and uh, you'll get warned of that and you can just uh, run screaming or something. <laughs> anyway... Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Ta-da.